Hi, welcome to Linda's Take, and today we are going to be working in Excel. We are going to make a simple spreadsheet based on data from weather.com, and then we're going to take that data, create a line graph, and then we are going to make sure and we're going to scale our information so that it prints on one page only. So the first thing we need to do is um, go to weather.com and look up information on a city. I've chosen Wichita and I'm going to be looking at July of 2022 and that is the weather, that's the data that I'm going to use to create my line graph. So over here in Excel in B1 I'm going to enter highs and in C1 I'm going to enter lows and those are my column headings. Now over here in A2, I'm going to enter my dates. Now I don't have to put a heading dates in A1. I can just leave it blank. Don't have to enter anything in there. I'm going to go to A2 and I'm going to put in 7-1-2022. And now I'm going to use the auto fill option to enter in the rest of the dates so I don't have to spend time entering in all the dates by hand. I'm going to put my insertion point in the lower right hand corner until it resembles the little crosshair sign. Then I'm going to click with my left mouse key and drag down to where it, till it says 7-31-2022 and it's going to fill in all the dates for me. Now if you fill in the dates and you end up with these hashtags, don't worry all those hashtags symbolize is the fact that you've entered in a number into that column and your column is not wide enough to read the number. So I'm going to come up here between A and B, make my, sure my mouse looks like that double headed arrow, and I'm going to double click and that's going to auto fit my column information so that I can read all of my data. So now I just need to go in and enter in my highs in column B and my lows in column C. Okay, so as I was entering my data, I realized there's only 30 days in July, not 31. So I don't need this 731. So I'm just going to come here, down here to my A32, and I'm just going to hit my delete key to get rid of that data. Whenever you make a chart um, like this, a spreadsheet, then you want to have a heading. And I didn't do that when I was entering in my data, but never fear, it can go back in and I can add a line so I can have a title. So I'm going to come up here to A1 and then come to Cells. And I'm going to insert a sheet row. I'm going to enter in a row at the top. And now I'm going to enter in my title for this. And this is going to be temperatures. For Wichita, Kansas, July 2022. Now you can see my information here. I only want it to be from A to C. I don't want to go clear over to D, even though it's really not in the D column. If I hit in D1, you can see D1's empty. But I want to center this kind of information, so I'm just going to take A to C. I am going to merge and center them. And then I'm going to come back and I'm going to make my C column a little wider, my B column. A column just so that it looks a little just looks a little better with that temperatures for Wichita Kansas July 22 title over my data and again I just selected the area I wanted merged then I just readjusted my column widths so now I'm ready to create my line graph so I need to select my data. Even though there's no information in A2, that is where I want to start my range. 
So there's a several ways you can select ranges. I could just make A2 my active cell, and with my mouse looking like that white plus sign, now I can drag down to C32, and I've selected the range. Another way that's very easy to select a range is up here in this name box. I'm just going to enter in A2, and then a colon, C32, to let Excel know that's the range I want to select. So you can either do the drag to select your range, or you can put the range up in your name box. So once I have that range selected, I'm going to come up to the Insert tab, and I am ready to insert a line chart. So let's just do a 2D line chart. I always want to make sure I put information in my chart title. Never leave it just chart title. That just it just looks like you're, you're taking an easy way out. We always want to put a name up here. So we're going to put temperatures for Wichita, Kansas, July 2022. Make sure you spell it correctly. We're going to take our chart and we're just going to move it to the right of our data. Now, if you want data labels, so um, if I want to add labels, I would do it up here in the Add Chart Element. I just, though, want um, markers. So I'm just going to actually go in here and change chart type. And I'm going to pick the one that has line with markers and say OK. It's the easiest way to add those markers in there. So now I have my data markers in my chart. Now you'll notice in your axes it only lists the odd dates. Don't worry about that. Just doing It's doing it that way so that it's not so jumbled across the axes. You can see our information here. Here is the low point for July 2nd. So that even though that date isn't listed in our axes, it is represented in our data. So now I'm going to chain, check and make sure that it's only printing on one page. So I'm going to select off of the chart and off of the data so I don't have anything selected. Up here under the Page Layout tab, I have my Page Setup grouping. I'm going to click on the little box right here for Page Setup. And right here under the Page Setup, I can fit to one page wide by one page tall. So I'm telling it, hey, adjust the margins, adjust, adjust the font size, whatever you need to do to make sure this only fits on one page. So I'm going to say OK. If I want to check it and make sure, I can go to File and Print. And you can see right here, it's only going to be printing on one page. So now you're ready to submit. If you're doing this for a grade uh, in my computer class, you're ready to submit it for, uh, for grading. If not, you're ready to print it. And just to show people that it's a little easier sometimes to read information in a line chart, than it is to read all of the raw data. Hopefully you learned something new from for creating a very simple chart line chart in Excel. And I hope wherever you are, you've had some sunshine in your life today. As always, follow my YouTube channel, like my videos, and if you have questions, just place them in the comments. I try to, to keep an eye on the comments and get back with you as soon as I can. Have a great day. Bye-bye.